Right, polls have been open for about 30 minutes now, and one candidate who is hoping to drum up some last-minute support is State Senator Joyce Elliott. She is taking on incumbent French Hill for the second congressional district. This race has been a near tie in recent polls. Mandy Knoll joins us live now in St. Mark Baptist Church with Joyce Elliott, who is campaigning there. Mandy. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, she just got here. We uh, kind of rushed into this a little bit. Yes, I'm here with Senator Joyce Elliott running for the second congressional seat. Um, I think it's really interesting that as the weeks have gone by these last couple weeks, you guys are really, you and um, uh, Senator French Hill are just neck and neck. Yes. Um, so I guess, where are you at this morning? Well, I, from the very first poll we got, you know, we were very close. And so, uh, and every one of them has solidified that same thing. And so I am starting here, here at St. Mark and going to be going around the district today because with all of these polls having us tied, we know today is a tie-breaking day. And so we are uh, getting out today talking to people because every single one of these votes is going to matter. And people have said they want to change. If you want the change, you got to understand that your vote's going to matter. If you, well, you know, this is the vote today between Willisville and Wall Street. And people know what that means. You know, this it's, it's the common everyday people who struggle, who are the Willisville people like me who grew up in a little town of 152 people. Or if you want more Wall Street, the people who are doing well under French Hill, then that's your person. But what people have been saying to us all over the district is they want this change to be sure they are protecting their health care that French Hill has voted more than 12 times to get rid of and keep saying he's protecting uh, uh, pre-existing conditions, which is just not the case. And this is huge for us. And so I'll be going from here to the next place. Somebody has my schedule, so we'll, we'll just keep hopping around the district all day today. One of the most busy people in Arkansas today. Now, something you and I were just talking about, you know, we've seen record numbers of people voting early uh, in absentee. So one of the things you and I were just discussing is that we may not have the official results of this election by tonight, and you want people to know that. Yeah, you know, we've used the word unprecedented many times when, it's t when we talk about what's happening during this pandemic, and that's one, that's one of the Products. If people wanted to vote and vote safely, so a lot more people are voting um, absentee, are voting early. And it is very possible, since we have so many absentee votes, we might not know the results tonight. I hope we will. But all of what I'm asking of people is understand this is different for everybody. And if we don't know the results, please be patient. Let the system work. Uh, neither you nor I need to start determining uh, what the outcome is if we don't allow the system that we put in place to protect our democracy. Let it work and be patient uh, because we will know in due time. I don't think it will take a long time. 